So before I start this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to Rob Dealer who designed the new Screen Fiends logo. He does fantastic stuff. You can find his link in the description. If you need any work doing, I highly recommend him. Go check him out. When all your franchises are collapsing around you, leave it to Lego to save the day, because not all heroes wear capes. I'm Luke from Screen Fiends, and today I'm gonna to be looking at the Lego Batman movie. I'm Batman. So for those of you that love the 2014 Lego movie, like myself, you'll be pleased to know that Lego Batman is every bit as good as its spiritual predecessor. In fact, I think Lego Batman has the edge on many levels. Lego Batman focuses largely on Bruce Wayne's seriously lacking social activities, Sure, Bruce Wayne is a billionaire playboy, but he's very much alone, something echoed by the vast emptiness of his Batcave. This isn't helped by his overly inflated ego, which often makes him come across as brash and narcissistic. During a fight with the Joker, Batman upsets his arch rival by telling Joker he is not an important part of his life. This leads the Joker to seek the ultimate revenge with the aid of a rogues gallery of some of cinema's most memorable villains. So being a Lego movie and a kids film, of course this is much lighter than anything else that we've seen recently. And you know what, it's a massive welcome of tone because we've seen some pretty dark stuff from uh, Batman recently and not always good stuff either. And this is something uh, Lego Batman is well aware of. It's absolutely chock full of Easter eggs and hidden things and references and fan service. It's fantastic. I watched the film and I was picking up so many sort of hidden references of completely nerding out. So what I get from watching Lego Batman is I feel the creators are massive Batman fanatics and they have a real love and respect for the source material. Something I don't feel applies to some of the more recent efforts. The performances are fantastic all around, especially Will Arnett as Batman. You can tell he is absolutely passionate about playing the title role and there's a childlike energy to his performance which is contagious. Zach Galifianakis is okay as the Joker but it's hard to appreciate the Joker with so much of his malice being scrubbed away. What's that you say the pencil trick isn't appropriate for youngsters? I beg to differ. What better way to learn magic and the dangers of the incorrect use of stationery than the pencil trick? So I'm sure I could be a lot harsher with this film. I bet I could nitpick it and be really lay into it and critique it. But you know what? I always ask myself when, I, when I'm critiquing a film, does the film do its job? And Lego Batman absolutely does its job. I was laughing out loud and I felt like a big kid again. And it was fantastic. It's full of daft jokes, crazy action sequences and fantastic performances. But what do you think of the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And for your fix, keep it Screen Fiends.